you know, I love making barrels. Working with your hands, it's an art in itself, a very old art, you know, four or 5,000 years old. I love it, I just love it. At the Oak Cooperage in Higby, Missouri. It's gotta be something good. I want it to be something that I can be proud of that I made. This year, these craftsmen will hand build 10 times as many wine and whiskey barrels as residents in the small town. It's crazy busy this year. The barrel market is just nuts right now. So many people wanting barrels. I've seen where you've had really good, you know, heavy ears, but nothing quite like this. What makes these barrels special is what also causes the Cooperage's greatest obstacle, time. There's no way to speed the process up. It starts with the wood. The Oaks barrels are made from Missouri white oak. So sought after, the Napa Valley winery Silver Oak bought this cooperage in 2014 to guarantee a supply of these special barrels. It now also sells thousands more to other wineries and distilleries. Everybody's did the testing. Silver Oaks tried wood from all over the country, and they kind of settled in on Missouri white oak. I think it's the single most important tree in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, it's just very, very important and everybody wants it. Here's why. Look at how close together these white oak rings are. So you're looking at grains per inch. It's tighter grain, 12 to 16 grains per inch. The grains or rings store the tree's sugars. Putting a barrel over a fire transforms those sugars and flavors from raw wood to spice and vanilla. When you first pull it off the fire, it kind of smells like a freshly toasted bread to me, like it coming straight out of the oven. Time is what causes all of those coveted flavor-filled rings in Missouri white oak. Growing conditions are harsher here than in other parts of the U.S., so the trees grow slower. It takes 80 to 100 years for a Missouri white oak to be ready for harvest. Once the trees are delivered and cut into staves, there's another waiting period while they season outside for 24 to 36 months. You tend to bleach the stave more so you get more of the tannins out. The stave becomes more balanced, if you will. And then there's the time and skill of these craftsmen. There are only about 50 master coopers in the U.S. These two have 56 years in the industry between them. It's a long process from the time of learning how to prep wood and grading and setting a barrel. And, I mean, Take so many years to, to learn it all. I haven't learned it all, and I'm sure Jack would tell you the same thing. Every day he seems to have a new challenge. It's a process steeped in precision. Some of these girls get $25,000 worth of wine in them, so it's very important. Attention to detail is very important. We know the barrel we want to make, so it's important to us to get the wood we need it to make it. And that's where another challenge, years in the making, lies. What we're seeing in the, both the wine, uh, but really in the spirits, are exponential growth of barrels. Our forest can't support this growth because we haven't been managing our forest. The average age of a Missouri white oak tree is 60 to 80 years. We have a lot of big trees out there, but we don't have a lot of young trees coming on to replace the big trees. It's like a bell-shaped curve. And so we know if we don't start managing our woods now, that we're not gonna have them in 60 years, 80 years. Baby Missouri white oaks need sunlight to grow, which they can't get under the massive mature oaks that maples, elms, and ironwood trees can flourish in the shade. That's what's gonna replace the white oak. And that's not really what we want from a wildlife habitat perspective or for a forest products perspective. White oak trees are very important for wildlife. So there's over 400 species of insects that use oaks in general. And over 100 wildlife species feed on acorns and depend upon acorns for their survival. So it's a, just an iconic species that we really can't do without. To ensure the future of white oaks in Missouri, MU School of Natural Resources started the Sustainable Forestry Initiative, funded by hundreds of thousands of dollars from independent stave company, the world's largest barrel manufacturer, which happens to be based in Missouri, as well as other cooperages and distilleries around the state. You got a little white oak seedling right there. 
Yeah, it's probably a little seedling sprout. It looks like it uh, has been nipped back a couple of times. But that's your future forest. The initiative recently hired Brian Schweiss to educate the public on how to continue to grow this tremendous resource. One of the greatest challenges is that 83% of the forests in Missouri are owned by private landowners. And a very small percentage of those landowners are actively engaged in managing their forest land. The Davis family bought these 80 acres in 1986. But it wasn't until the Sustainable Forestry Initiative that Joe Davis brought in a forester. I think a lot of landowners care deeply about their property, but probably make some uh, missteps because they're not trained foresters. This looks excellent. Uh, you know, they came in, they took out a number of trees, created what we call a little group opening to get enough sunlight down here. A lot of white oak regeneration, impressive on the white oak regeneration. And then it, uh, this is just tremendous cover for wildlife too. There's browse and escape cover in here. Blackberries coming on, this is wonderful. I've learned so much in the last few years working with uh, the foresters who've been out here. Look up at the top of that tree, buddy. Look how tall it is. What I love so much about being part of this program now is I can walk through the woods with my kids and, and we can have an understanding of what we're looking at. You wanna see this tree? Let's touch it. This is an oak tree. And it doesn't just benefit our family, it benefits the entire ecosystem in which we live. It's something that we all have to take serious. You know, we plan on doing our part even though we're a really small cooperage. After all, for the oak, it is a business built out of the trunks of those majestic trees, where time only adds to their greatness. We've always had this saying here, we haven't made our best girl yet but we get up every morning and we do it again the next day. You know, it keeps us striving for excellence. I feel blessed to be a part of it. It's been a lot of fun.